A special good afternoon to each and everyone here. First of all, I congratulate you for asking a question, which is uh, really very, most of the people will be hesitant to ask the question. And uh, this is a problem with women. Whatever the problems they have, they are not open and they don't ask with open mind. And uh, in spite of their sufferings, they won't come up boldly uh, to know the answer. So I really appreciate you. And uh, sexual problem, particularly it can be either the normal married life or the sexual harassment which occurs in the working place and it, it may be in the education institution, the adolescent girls facing it. So it can be very uh, uh, problem which we face. But my advice is from the childhood when they enter the adolescent age, awareness should be there. They should be aware of the situation. Actually, we all feel that we are all very modern and now we are teaching the children properly, but not. Always you have to connect with our roots. Some of the programs, festivals, functions are carried out in our society. And nowadays the Menarchy Festival and the Valagapudi Timandam Festival we are all looking at with a, I mean a biased view. But when the research was done, when I was a PG in uh, Ramchandra Medical College, the holistic approach and the research was done, they, they were very safe. Nowadays they are facing the sexual harassment and nowadays they are, uh, uh, they, uh, they are unable to cope up with the life. But the, our elders, our ancestors, mothers, grandmothers had a very smooth sailing. We think that they are uh, covered ish and they are, no, they, they were very much successful. So, the society taught us naturally the awareness. For example, in a, in a village, if a menarchy function is conducted, then the other children know the, such such uh, uh, developments will be there in our body and there will be a phase we have to cross and when we uh, where some of the students, when we were doing gynecology, were criticizing this Valagapu. So what is this? We are calling everybody. And then, then one of the elder, from the when we had a small interaction, whether it is useful to the society or it is only a luxurious function arranged by the family. Then some of the elders told, because when such programs are conducted, festivals are conducted, it conveys a message to the other youngsters because they used to, they, we have to undergo uh, such physical changes in our body. So it is not only unique to us. So it is natural thing which is happening in all the other women also. So that awareness should be there. And nowadays we are hesitant to talk with our children also. When they start talking about something, so we stop them. No, this is not the subject to be openly discussed or this is not the subject. So when they grow into an adolescent girl and they, when they uh, enter into the married life or when they go to the uh, professional, uh, their offices or their career, when they face with such situations, they are unable to reveal it outside and that makes them depressed and they makes them, makes them unhappy. So first of all, we have to have a good interaction with the children and now we have to make them aware of the problems and if at all you are facing as you said then you have to have a, a good consultation with a gynecologist or elders or you can have a good counseling so nothing uh, wrong in revealing certain things so that getting the solution thank you very much ma'am anyone else that like that would like to ask a question uh, I would like to ask a question. Yes, uh, please, yes. Thank you so much for the opportunity, uh, ma'am. Who is asking? I am asking. Ma'am, here I am. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Ma'am, I'm Gautami. Uh, this is a great opportunity for me to ask you a question. So, I am representing a working woman. It's not easy for a woman to handle so many showers at home and manage to come to work and give her 100%. You are a fellow working woman too. How did you manage? How did you manage your mental health, physical health to give you 100% and to be in a state where you are? First of all, start enjoying your work. Whether you have <laughs> one state or two states, start enjoying. Don't think it is a burden or that is a responsibility. I start enjoying. In a lighter sense, I can say, when I was coming in the flight, I have two cell phones in my hand. So an elder, elderly person was sitting beside me. So when I was taking my one phone, one phone got dropped. Then he was telling me, we are unable to handle one phone. Why are you, uh, how can you man handle two phones? Why are you having two phones? I told him, I am handling two states. What is the problem in handling the two phones? So it's all with the mindset only. And I always enjoy doing because if we, another responsibility is given, there is an opportunity uh, to show our uh, talents and show our administration. So it is always take it as an opportunity. But plan your life. I always was, when I was practicing, the ladies used to come and tell, Doctor, tension. For everything, tension. What tension? Where which sari, which blouse to wear? That's the tension. <laughs> then which uh, column to keep tension? Which side dish to tension? Whether to do what is idli or dosa? That is the tension. So why can't you in the evening when you are seeing the cereals? So tomorrow morning, what will be my tiffin? And what will be my uh, dress? Everything is a little planning. And little time management will definitely help you. And I always don't get tense. When I was attending a CEO's conference, there was a two days discussion. And uh, they were telling, I, I was asking, why, what you are uh, discussing? Then they were telling, no, no, we are CEOs. We are unable to get the service of the, our employees because we are expecting more. And the employees are what they, according to our expectation, we are not getting our employees. So we are tense. We are unable to get the service. So I told in my valedictory program, I told it's very simple. For example, when we expect everything from everybody, if you satisfy yourself by certain things. So I was telling in that meeting, you are two days you have conducted a conference. I will tell you one simple thing because in my house, I have a driver who is working for 15 years and I have a cook who is working for 20 years. Then one of my friends came and asked me, you are having your driver for 15 years and my, I am in my house, every month I am changing my driver. Cook you are having for 20, or, uh, 20 years, my, I am changing my cook at least in 15 days, I am not satisfied. Then I told them, she was asking me, so she is good in cooking everything. Then I told, no, I love dosa. But she is good in cooking idli. So I started liking idlis. <laughs> then searching a person who is doing, who is uh, making good dosa. So it is easy, no? So searching another person who can do good dosas. Practicing eating, eating idli which she is doing. So it is also a problem. So it's all in our mindset only. So, so let's, uh, let us enjoy and adjust uh, to the situation. But our motto is just you have to exemplify in our exit small, small things. So focus should be on our work. And don't compromise your happiness for anything. Let uh, whatever the work, I always say that, God, whatever may be the load you give me, but strengthen my shoulders to hold the load. So that is the conviction we should have. So always enjoy what you are doing. Whether your officer gives you another file, when you are about to, Start, 5 o'clock. No, no, you call, you are called and given two or three files. Oh, then mine. Oh, I have an opportunity to see more files. So that is the mindset you have to have. Thank you so much, ma'am. Excuse me, I have got a question here. Uh, very warm good afternoon to all the dignitaries on the... Yeah, yeah it's yeah, me, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. uh, very warm good afternoon to all the dignitaries present on the dais, honorable uh, governor of our state. And uh, all these, I think, uh, this uh, VIPs who are here for this uh, event. Ma'am, uh, basically my question is uh, to you and Team Kims as well. 
Uh, I was just listening to all the facilities and the advancement of technologies which are available with the hospital over here. It's a very good thing. And uh, now the question comes about affordability. My question is, uh, all these facilities can be availed by people who are able to afford. So ma'am, uh, as you are heading as a state, why can't we introduce all these facilities in a subsidized rate or, uh, you know, free for the below poverty line people? You know, the mortality rate is high even in those communities. They are children perishing, neonatal kids are perishing without proper treatment. So my question is, why can't the government come forward and also have such kind of centers where they can go and avail these facilities? Well, definitely there are centers, but uh, this is... Uh, uh, the question, through your question, I want to convey the message about uh, health insurance. The awareness about health insurance is much lower in our society. Because it is very difficult. Governments are coming out with uh, schemes. For example, Arugeshri, Aishman Bharat, and uh, even 5 lakh rupee treatment. We can get it done freely. And I laud our Honorable Prime Minister because uh, we, women oriented before caesarean was not included in the insurance scheme. Most of the insurance companies say only diseases we include. But uh, Aishman Bharat, first when it was introduced, it was uh, caesarean section was not included and because of the appeal from the womenhood, it was included. So now, first of all, we should be aware of what all the facilities available in the government hospitals, totally free, and what all the... Uh, facilities available in the government hospital is subsidized rate and what all the facilities available in corporate hospitals particularly kims i really appreciate this uh, your uh, master eddy garu is here when i was uh, when i knew about their work on breast cancer awareness and taking the awareness to each and every village so mammogram to be done uh, in a corporate hospital they have to come here register but they are taking the mammogram towards the people. So, but we should be aware of the services. For example, medicine, where we can get. Nowadays, there are this uh, the shops are there. Not all medicines we can get, but some simple generic medicines can be, we can get it. And these are the facilities already available for the poor. But I always appeal to the government. Even Telangana government recently, when I attended a medical camp, I appeal. All the facilities should reach the people. So that awareness should be created. Particularly the women could because uh, this conference is about women health. Actually there was a survey some 30 years back there was a survey that uh, before under 5 male children were more sick and the percentage of sick more uh, male children were more and there were no very minimal uh, percentage of uh, female children. Then everyone was very happy, oh, female children are more resistant and they are not sick, only male children are uh, uh, not with resistant and they are uh, more prone to sickness. But that survey revealed that even the girl child is sick, she is not brought to the OP. So surveys also can sometimes deceive us. So they thought the girl children, there is no any percentage of more, more percentage of girl children attending the OP. So these girl children are more healthy. It's not that. The sick girl children are, were not brought to the hospital at all. Their health was ignored. So we have to find out the places where the facilities are given free of cost, nominal cost, even in the corporate hospitals. Nowadays even they are treating the poor. So we have to be aware of the situation. Most of the governments and the corporate hospitals and all the insurances are coming out with good schemes. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, actually, I am uh, heading a health insurance uh, processing company only. So that's the reason I thought I would just ask this. Yeah. And ma'am, any idea when is the Aishman Bharat being implemented in Telangana? Any yeah, because uh, when, I, when, when I came here as the governor, I knew that I found that Aishman Bharat was not implemented here. Then when I had a uh, discussion, at that time I used to discuss with the chief minister. <laughs> so <laughs> when I had a discussion with him, I was telling in Tamil Nadu also, Aishman Bharat, when it was introduced, there was a CM scheme. 
uh, but both PM scheme and uh, CM scheme combined, more than 80,000 people added more to that scheme and people were benefited. So even though uh, don't uh, uh, actually argue whether uh, this state scheme is better, central scheme is better, central has come out with this insurance scheme, state is having its insurance scheme. So and when both incorporated combined, the people may be benefited. Then after that Telangana, then I also gave him uh, the report from Tamil Nadu, how the central and state schemes combined uh, to help the people and after that they signed an MOU yeah. uh, to follow the Aishman, that uh, after my small effort it was done. So when state and uh, centre uh, cooperatively do, uh, the great thing can be done to the people, that is my Only opinion. the signatures have been done ma'am, implementation, I think efforts are required for that as oh. well, from PRS. Oh, because I am not for following and they are not interacting with the health officials for the past two years, I am unable to reach out yeah, there. So it's a, good, it's a news for me, so I will uh, uh, put all my efforts to follow that because I, I also told about some of the um, uh, added points in Aishman because Arugishri is our state uh, insurance. Aishman, if a person from Telangana get, a, get the treatment done in different state also, Aishman can be uh, actually utilized. Yeah, it is utilized. So these are things, uh, good thing you uh, told me, so I will put my efforts Thank you so in much, that. Because in the previous program also I told this, uh, but I don't know because it's only in the... Uh, in this form. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I will put my efforts. Thank, Thank you. you so much, ma'am. It was really Because nice. in Puducherry, where I am the additional charge, I have Aishman Bharat is uh, utilized to its maximum. And we had a, uh, we, uh, we were awarded a prize for that. Second, uh, second place we had for implementing Aishman. Yeah. Because as a doctor, because I am direct in administration, I could do that. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am, for sharing your insights Thank on you. this. Thank you. And you know, you've given us very, very uh, useful insights on how to go about in our workplace. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. We will take one last question, yeah. and then I would request our uh, honourable chief just to address the gathering. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am, for your. Oh, okay. He and then. Uh, oh, okay. Both can ask, no problem. Because. <laughs> Sorry, Adi. Both can ask. After that, you can ask. My name is Hima. I am from Open Tech. I uh, am working as senior manager leading security. Ma'am, what's the secret of your energetic leadership? <laughs> there are like so many apps and fitness programs, yoga, gym and cycling clubs, there is like marathons. Like, what do you think that as women we should focus on the health regarding this related to this fitness? Because uh, energetic leader will always improve the productivity of the corporate and also uh, can balance work and uh, personal life as well. Okay. Changing the obstacles into opportunities. That is the secret of my energy. <laughs> Any, uh, when the river flows, suddenly if there is a block, electricity will be produced, no? So I will be moving very fast. If there is any challenge, then I will be more energetic. So that, that is way. And uh, I, it's, it's a very good question because basically I used to say, uh, we can say that, uh, that Sri Rabindranath Tagore says, you'll be longing to see Niagara Falls there, here, I want to go there. But you fail to see the drop of dew just on the top of the grass in front of our door. If we open it, it is the nature gifted with a dew drop on the grass. We don't enjoy that. No? We will be longing for greater things. So don't think that you have to go gym at all. I have not gone to gym at all. But I do yoga for one hour. Definitely one hour I do yoga. And I walk morning half an hour, evening half an hour I walk. Because I walk only, whether the floor, whether the challenges, whether it's up or down, I will walk. Definitely. So only I'm in Telangana, I'm facing all the challenges, but I can walk. I can move through. I can move through. Anything I can do. Because morning, morning, early morning, you get up and thank God for giving the opportunity to rise in the morning without any sickness and drink lot of water in the morning and then start your yoga. Don't be lazy. Yoga, meditation and uh, actually allot some time for you. Don't think that uh, files, files, work, work. Uh, definitely I allot. When I go to the 
colleges, when I ask them, how many of you do yoga? Very less uh, number of children raise their hands. Then when I ask them, they used to tell, no, no, I don't have time. Then I used to tell you, governor, handling two states have time to do yoga for one hour. Then are you busy than me, I used to say. No, no, we are not busy. So why, why can't you allot time? So you, if you allot time, no, if you can, uh, the productivity will be more. Don't think that one hour is waste. If you are, I can do 48 hours, work in 24 hours. I can challenge. I am doing like that. Everyone will think, now you are in uh, Telangana, now you are in Puducherry, now you are attending a program. Yesterday morning I was in Goa. Evening I was in Visagapatna. And now I am in Telangana. Evening I will be in Puducherry. <laughs> so this is, a, this is how we have to tone our body and mind. That is practice our mind. So do physical fitness is very, very important. So only our honorable Prime Minister always says fit India. So we have to be very cautious about our food. I always say, we are counting our currency. Are we counting our calories? <laughs> yeah, hardly. We have to, if I take on ice cream, no, I will just stop with it. I like ice cream very much. But I don't deny tasting it, but I will take it and within quarter ice cream, I will stop. Okay, this is more than enough for my body. So I am not deceiving my taste, but I am not deceiving my body. I am enjoying at the same time, but limited. I am limiting myself. So food also, always have a small plate. Now small plate concept is there. Three-fourth of the plate should be with vegetables and uh, fruits. Only quarter plate. It's easy, no, for you. You can tell so that no need to cook, no. Otherwise put samba or rasam <laughs> and uh, food to cutting. And you, you easily tell your husband, no, no, this is the now new concept. All cut vegetables one quarter, cut the fruits one quarter, and some uh, 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 cereals one quarter, only... Little uh, the rice, for that you need not have two uh, delicious columbu, these and that, because rasa and all, you just take some curd and eat it away. So your work is also minimized. So always uh, follow these things. So it will be easy for you. So, so nutrition, food habits, altered food habits, our honorable prime minister likes, he says, small, small changes. So that will uh, improve our environment. Like little, little changes. If you are eating, uh, four idlis uh, uh, at the time, two idlis uh, by seven o'clock, then spread it to ten o'clock, two idlis, then definitely that will help you. So plan your uh, new, uh, diet and plan your habits, uh, but uh, mentally always free. And I always, uh, finally, to everyone I used to say, say, don't compromise your happiness for anything. Life is for enjoying. If you want to get a sari, go and get it. You want to get a jewel, go and get it. No problem at all. But you should be very healthy to see your husband. So now I have got it, but I will uh, cooperate with you more, whether in business or in uh, family. So that will give, get great results. So small, small lifestyle changes is more than enough. It's not that you have to spend more. You have to uh, uh, spend more for the nutrition. Sometimes they will tell, no, for protein diet. So that is 700 I am going to get. And this 600, no, nothing. A white egg in the morning will give you more protein than any other nutritious artificial uh, food. So be natural. Always think of our mother, grandmother, what they took, you take that. That is a simple solution for you. <laughs> my grandmother lived 80 years, my grandfather lived 90 years. They took every day little vegetables, fish they took every day, some buttermilk. So very simple food they had. So always plan your life and, and diet. Planning is more important. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. I have very less time. I, I always love to answer because I will be talking to you. I don't know what you want, I'll be talking. But now I answer what you wanted and then I answer. It's really a great interaction session. And I always want, in every program, you have to utilize the opportunities given to you. When you utilize the opportunities only, you can get some. I'm not saying I'm a great person, but uh, we are successful. They used to Ask me whether you are an extraordinary person in this age, you became a governor. I was a very, very ordinary person. I also like saris, I also like flowers, gimkis, flowers, bangles, everything I like. I'm a very, very ordinary woman, but I do things in an extraordinary way. A simple thing also, it should be done. My, my work should be on top. My work, even Rajbhavan, I'm not confined to Rajbhavan because today also a paper has reported how I have taken forward the work of tribal activities. So, we have to focus on our commitment, whatever may be the uh, 
problems we face, definitely there will be challenges. I can say, uh, Bhaskar Edigaru, please pardon me. And uh, if a uh, woman, man should come from the other brothers also should uh, excuse me. Uh, and other media friends also, <laughs> male members should excuse me. If a man want to come out from the house, just he can take an iron shirt, put it and he can come away. But for a woman to come out from the house, she has to look after whether you have to uh, cook the food and whether it should be kept in the dining table and when mother-in-law, mother-in-law you have to be very careful. When mother-in-law will come and whether she will eat and when the children will come and when the uh, milkman will come and deliver the milk and when the postman will come and deliver the post, all these, with all these calculations you have to come out. So one woman coming out successfully is uh, equal to thousand men coming out successfully. So it is not easy, by my personal experience. I will be in, in not my, my children are grown over all are doctors now, but when I was, my child was, I will be doing a caesarean. Then my child will, where is my pencil? Ask my mother immediately to answer her. Then I said, my, my assistant will come and tell your child is calling repeatedly, what is the problem? I am having a nice, no, no, she is asking about her pencil. So this is the challenge, she won't ask her father, she will ask her mother only. Then sometimes we will have, you know, birthday pro program is there, we will come by 7 o'clock, at that time we will have a caesarean, at that time we will have, just we will be uh, uh, changing our dress, we will be stepping out, suddenly one patient will, with pain will come. The other relievers wouldn't have come. So immediately we were, will be forced to go to the uh, theatre and another two to three hours, it may end up, the child will be crying there. Then these are the challenges uh, we face. So we have to face the challenges, there are difficulties. But women are multifaceted. They can do anything. Uh, they can do anything, whatever the work you give. And, and this is a land where Rudrama Devi, like uh, leaders were there. So I am, I am very confident that uh, uh, women are really good administrators. Why means it is the, for men it is very difficult to manage a woman. But for a woman it is very <laughs> easy to manage everyone, even a man. So as an administrator, I am telling you, it's my experience. So it can be very cool and that is, it, it's all in our hands. So only some of them are not allowing us. Because if you allow a woman, definitely they will catch the place. So they will, be, they will exemplify. So, so only even now, our legs are full. But in spite of that, we will run fast to reach the goal. And uh, apart from that, my request is with family and awareness. Nowadays we know about breast cancer and there are some diseases. Heart problem. When I was asking my relative about heart problem, women will have heart attack. Then she was saying, no, no, women won't get heart attack at all. Only men will have heart attack. Then one of the person told, no, no, if I have a wife like you, definitely men will only have a heart attack in a lighter sense, he was telling. But, uh, but women also get heart attack. Women also should be aware of uh, another thing. More women are now uh, affected with uh, uh, brain clots. So these are all things which we are not aware. Osteoporosis, we are not aware. And all the other, we, we, we are aware about, nowadays we are aware of ovarian problem, uterus problem, but other medical conditions also will affect the women. So when we have some symptoms, when we or experience some symptoms, immediately we must go to the hospital. Yearly checkup is very much needed. You don't plan that for this birthday I have to get this sari, I have to get this jewel. For the birthday, because we are passing another year, definitely you have to have a medical checkup. So that should be the gift. I appeal all the uh, husbands, please gift a, a voucher for the master health checkup than giving a voucher for the sari or it should be done, whether it's a previous day or after, but whenever, before celebrating your next birthday, you have to have a full master health checkup. That is very, very important because the diseases which are diagnosed much earlier. Now, there are treatments for everything. Anything, because before and all cancer means, oh, everyone will be afraid. Oh, in, in cinema and all cancer diagnosed means, dang, 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 like that, they will show. No, no, very calmly, I have seen. Uh, even uh, our uh, Bhaskar Edigaru also attended a program to give uh, uh, awareness about the health, uh, breast cancer. The survivors, they didn't have any shadow of breast cancer. They came 
and they revealed their helpless so there are opportunities if the doctors also give the opportunity to save you don't come in a very chronic state don't ignore your health you know if it's a plant is if the weed is very small it can easily be plucked but if you grow into a tree it cannot be plucked it cannot be cut also so always aware of it and another thing nowadays incidences are more whether it is uterine cancer breast cancer or hypertension or sugar it is very difficult to cross 40 without either hypertension or uh, uh, sugar so it is uh, you have to be much aware of it and you have to spend some time for that also if it may be a repetition i always narrate one incident when i was a post graduate at ramchand in ramchandra medical college when we were post graduates uh, in the department of gynecology usually there will be an annual event when i entered there was also a jewel exhibition in this campus like that an exhibition the annual exhibition will be there uh, about sarees and what all the cosmetics which are used by the women so once once a year it will be conducted and lakhs and lakhs of women will attend this program so when we were we, uh, pgs we asked our hod madam lord large number of <coughs> women will be attending this program so we will uh, hire a stall with all our uh, efforts our pgs will uh, uh, collect money and we will hire a stall and we will have a awareness program so that whole night we sat and drew pictures about uh, breast cancer pap smear how it can be diagnosed at the earliest everything and then we displayed all the charts and we had a, a mobile mammogram there and then pap smear kit there and then with coat with stethoscope we post graduates were sitting so ladies started coming so first is this was sari shop so ladies came they put the sari this shoulder that shoulder and they saw in the mirror then we 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 were ready because next they have come to the sari shop so next they will enter our uh, stall so that we will so we put a coat and then we were we ready with the stethoscope and everything these ladies no we entered the sari shop quickly they passed our shop our stall and they entered the jewelry shop <laughs> then we were watching nobody entered then we pulled them no if you are doing that if you are hale and healthy only you can wear this sari and you can wear the jewel then you won't believe after we compelled everyone they attended they, they came to the stall and they had the checkups and 300 patients uh, were diagnosed with pre cancerous condition either it was breast or uterine in that some 2 lakh 3 lakh people attended 300 uh, people were diagnosed with pre cancerous situation only just uh, screening helped them otherwise they would have come up with uterine cancer or breast cancer in the later stage so always concentrate on your health that is wealth first of first preference is health 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 everything is next only your profession next whether you are uh, luxury or your academics everything is next only first health suvar irundal dhan chitram varai mudiyum tamil la oru palamul irukku if you have a wall only you can paint If you don't have a wall, you cannot paint. One person was telling, "No, I want to go to every day. I want to go to the office exactly by nine o'clock." Then his friend asked, "No, no every day you want to go to exactly punctually nine o'clock. Why can't you go?" "No, I don't have a job. If I have a job, I will have a job." <laughs> so, intention may be good, but if you have a healthy body only, mind only, so always be free. Life is for happy living. and health is more you may be a very big uh, academician you may be a very big artist but small headache just collapse you with with a small it may be not bilateral <laughs> migraine will collapse you so always be healthy that is the message and i really appreciate uh, the uh, uh, organizers uh, particularly the shilpa reddy garu for uh, organizing such a program because whatever maybe i always tell a small story and i will complete it because i have to go and catch the flight there was a farmer he was a very poor farmer and he wanted to sell his land because unless if he thought unless he sell the land he won't uh, uh, counter his poorness poverty and then he asked an advertisement person to ask to write an advertisement because everything nowadays are for advertisement only you know? he asked the person to get, get, write an advertisement then that person wrote an advertisement this is a piece of land is there 
and uh, there are two to three goa trees where you, you can get a good uh, very delicious goa and there are some uh, coconut trees in there something and all positive then then he told there is a uh, school nearby nearby means 60 70 kilometers the advertisement will be like that only now so he told nearby school nearby police station this station that and all they he wrote and he gave the advertisement then that person told no no i am not going to sell the land then the advertiser got uh, angry that the media person got angry just few minutes back you told you are going to sell the land and after writing this advertisement you are telling you are not going to sell the land then the advertiser told that uh, farmer told till you write this advertisement i didn't know so many good things are in my farm but when you told when you wrote the advertisement then i now think why i should sell the farm with this farm itself i can live a very happy life so sometimes somebody should reveal what all available and what all the caution we should follow so that these type of programs help us to caution us and to know what all things available and what all the preventive measures we have to follow so i really appreciate kirti reddy garu for shilpa reddy because kirti reddy shilpa reddy garu for her very good initiative and baskar reddy garu for um encouraging him what's your name durga ya uh, dr durga for a fertility specialist anita uh, director kings hospital uh, dr janaki dermatologist uh, aparna neonatologist for helping shilpa reddy shilpi reddy or shilpa reddy shilpi reddy so any popular person only so <laughs> because too many names before only i was attending another program where all readies were there so <laughs> are ready ready <laughs> so i am really very happy to attend the program thank you so much you are so baskar rao <laughs> baskar rao oh your rao <laughs> so then no eh? no problem <laughs> so sorry <laughs> so baskar rao garu for uh, because I, i didn't have any paper then i just uh, came, came here and uh, yeah, but i have seen him in all the programs uh, because i am attending too many programs that uh, rao are ready that's, that's no any problem i think <laughs> uh, but any of you are all good humans whether you are rao are ready we are all good humans so that is uh, that is very important Uh, so i am really very happy to attend this program and uh, i see the multicolored uh, women here i always love to attend the women program because men program will be or black and white or some <laughs> so it is multicolored i really very happy to attend this program lovely ladies thank you so much thank you very much ma'am thank for you, your ma invaluable insights your advice and your assurances and sharing your experiences with us Now